India is amongst the world's upcoming superpowers. It is now the world's most populous country and with time, it will one day hold on to become the world's largest navy. The Indian Navy, the maritime branch of the Indian Armed Forces, today stands as one of the world's largest. It consists of tens of thousands of active personnel, hundreds of ships, some of which are world-class vessels that can fend off neighboring threats. Yet while it is clear that India has become a vital part of the naval defense industry, is it really enough? Can we really justify that India's navy is a world-class force that nations should be wary of? Or is India's navy still undergoing modernization? And is it still far off compared to today's powerhouses? Well, to understand whether India's navy is strong, we must first take a look at its history and the equipment it employs. These equipments are the most vital part in understanding how a strong country's navy is. Having submarines, aircraft carriers, warships are vital in controlling India's oceans and its coasts. To begin, the history of India's navy spans several centuries. It first saw its significant event in the establishment of the East India Company's Marine. Contemporary, India's navy had pivotal moments. After its independence, it held British-era vessels. By the 1960s to 70s, the Indian Navy continued to expand thanks to foreign acquisitions from the UK and the Soviet Union. But a large change occurred in the 1980s and 1990s as the country emphasized an indigenous shipbuilding and technological development. Key milestones include the commissioning of the INS Shivalik, India's first indigenous stealth frigate in 2003, and the development of the Arihant class nuclear powered ballistic missile submarines and Scorpion class diesel electric attack submarines under the Make in India initiative. But we will discuss more of that equipment later on. For now, let us understand how the Indian Navy works. The Indian Navy has its own leader, the Chief of Naval Staff, followed by a Vice Chief and a long list of chain of command. The Indian Navy then operates through various naval bases all across the country. Now, the most important part of the video is its equipment. India's Navy is huge and has an arsenal that arguably makes it some of the world's most powerful. But what really makes India's Navy stand out is none other than its submarines. The Indian Navy operates several submarines. The most famous is none other than the Arihant class submarines. These are amongst the world's most expensive projects and is India's first ever nuclear powered submarine ballistic missile built under the Advanced Technology Vessel ATV project. The submarine was launched in 2009 and was then commissioned in 2016. The cost of the project is enormous. Some news outlets stated that it cost over 2.9 billion US dollars, which easily makes it amongst the world's most expensive weaponries. The submarine itself weighs over 6,000 tons, with a crew of 95 personnel and speeds of over 24 knots when submerged. Following the Arihant class submarine, the Indian Navy also operates the Calvary class, which are diesel electric attack submarines. The project, also called P 75, is based on the Scorpion class submarines, which are designed by a French naval shipbuilding firm Naval Group with their friends from Spain shipbuilding group Navantia. Secondly, the Indian Navy also operates the Sindingush class and the Shishumar class. On top of these submarines, the Indian Navy then operates aircraft carriers. Aircraft carriers are essential on the battlefield because they serve as mobile air bases. These massive ships allow reasons to deploy air power globally without relying on local bases. The Indian Navy currently deployed the Vikrant class, which, just like the Arihant class submarine, is also a world-renowned project. The naval asset, which weighs over 43,000 tons, is designed by the Indian Navy's Warship Design Bureau and constructed by Cochin Shipyard in Kochi, India. It is 262 meters long and 62 meters wide and cost the country over $3 billion. On top of this, the Indian Navy also deploys the Kiev class, which is locally known as the INS Vikramaditya R-33. The vessel itself carries long-range multi-role fighters. It was reported to cost a whopping $2.33 billion. After the submarines and aircraft carriers, the Navy deploys several different kinds of warships. The most famous of all is the Visa Kapatnam class, a guided missile destroyer. The ship itself is built by a local company known as the Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited. 
It has a displacement of 7,400 tons and an overall length of 164 meters. It has state-of-the-art weapons and sensors, including surface-to-air missiles, anti-ship missiles, and torpedoes. The ship has capabilities to have speeds of over 30 knots. Another destroyer, known as the Kolkata class, is also a guided missile destroyer. The ship was launched in March 2006 at Mazagan Dock, Mumbai, and delivered to the Indian Navy in July 2014. The ship at full load has a displacement of 6,800 tons and is equipped with the Barak surface-to-air missiles, a 130mm gun, four AK-630 close-in weapon systems, which is used for air defense, and even its own anti-submarine warfares. On frigates, the Indian Navy employs the Shivalik class, which are built for stealth features. It carries over 257 crews. Each frigate, according to reports, is worth over $650 million. Its weapons are mixed. The weaponry systems include the Russian Still Surface-to-Air Missile Systems, Club Anti-Ship Cruise Missiles, and Israeli Barak-1 Missile Defense System. On corvettes, the Indian Navy then has the Komorda class. These corvettes are designed by the Directorate of Naval Design and were constructed by Garden Reach shipbuilders and engineers. It is equipped with an integral ASW-capable helicopter along with other torpedoes, rockets, medium-range guns, and close-in weapon systems. Now, the Indian Navy employs a very number of ships. We can't name every single one of them. However, it already showcases just how big and formidable India's Navy really is. The first and most important thing you need to understand is that a lot of its naval assets are manufactured, designed, and assembled locally. Some are acquired abroad, such as Russia, but slowly, India has been manufacturing its own naval assets. Its aircraft carriers and submarines are a testament to just that. These are not just any small ships, they are billion-dollar projects. Furthermore, we should also not forget about its ammunition. Take, for instance, the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, which is equipped in several naval assets of the Navy. These have renowned capabilities, which led foreign countries to take interest in them. The Philippines became one of its buyers recently, which signed a deal worth about $370 million. Finally, it is also important to note that India's Navy is continuously building up more ships. There are several reports that state the Indian Navy will have more aircraft carriers, submarines, and destroyers by the end of the decade. According to a naval chief, India will have at least between 170 to 175 warships by 2035. The chief, which discussed that in 2023, also stated that there are currently 67 ships under construction, of which 65 are in Indian shipyards. But while we continue to talk about the good parts of it, it is also essential to discuss the problems underneath. Many articles have laid their opinions. One even stated that the INS Vikrant, India's famous aircraft carrier, is actually no match for China. They stated that it is still smaller compared to China's largest carriers and uses older technologies. Furthermore, some also stated that India's military itself is a paper tiger. There are still many problems, budget constraints, and upgrades needed. Indeed, the Indian Navy and the Army itself still has a lot of work to do. After all, India's Army is reliant on the economy itself, but that is also why we can be optimistic about its future. The larger the economy grows, the more money the country has, and their ability to build up a navy is unmatched by any other. So as time goes on, we will eventually see India's navy become a superpower in the future. But anyway, do let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.